So in previous video, we have seen the benefits of uh, using the hexadecimal numbers and why we use the hexadecimal numbers in our computer system and binary number system. Okay. So today we are given a question in which we have to convert each hexadecimal number to binary. Okay. So before it, we have to see that how a binary number can be converted to the hexadecimal or hexadecimal number can be converted to the binary number okay so as the name says that it is basically the hexadecimal number so hexadecimal hexadecimal means 16 okay so therefore hexadecimal number system basically consists of 16 numbers which ranges from 0 to 15 okay in decimal while this 15 in hexadecimal is called f okay so this is basically the range of a hexadecimal number okay so uh, this is basically the concept behind the hexadecimal number and in order to convert any number to the hexadecimal number we have a table which can be written here like so that is basically the table in which we have different numbers so this is first of all zero in decimal in binary as we have 16 numbers so to represent 16 numbers we should have at least four bits okay so therefore the binary number we will see here will be consist of four bits okay and in hexadecimal it is zero okay so zero 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 and all these up to nine these will be similar as that of the decimal but after nine the decimal number will be the combination of the numbers from 0 to 9 while here we will have a then b c d e and f okay so therefore i have told you that these starts from 0 and ends at what and that f okay so uh, in order to convert any hexadecimal number to the decimal number what we have to do so suppose we have here 46 in the hexadecimal number so what we have to do first of all we have to see the hexadecimal equivalent of 6 okay which is the at the right side of my number so the hexadecimal equivalent of number uh, my number is what that is 6 so 6 is 0 1 1 0 okay so let me write 0 1 1 0 okay this is the binary equivalent of this hexadecimal number similarly in order to convert this 4 what we have to see we have to see the binary equivalent of this hexadecimal number again so what is this let me see here so this is now here this is zero one double zero so let me write here zero one double zero okay so uh, now refining it it will be zero one double zero zero double one zero and this is the binary equivalent of my number that is in hexadecimal 46 16 okay so that is sorry this is was basically 16 so this is the conversion of my number to the hexadecimal level similarly in order to convert the part b which is 54 16 okay first we have to see that what is this 4 equal to that is again 0 1 double 0 okay and 5 equal to 0 1 0 1 so 0 1 0 and 1 so that is the binary equivalent of 54 in hexadecimal okay so now let me remove them and start solving other questions so part c here is b 4 16 okay similarly following the same procedure the 4 here will be how much that is again 0 1 double 0 okay 0 1 double 0 and b is how much that is b which is 1 0 double 1 okay so one zero double one so that is the binary equivalent of the number which is here okay part d here is one a three in 16 okay so now we can see that we have three digits so first of all writing the equivalent of three that is here so that is double zero double one double zero double one okay the equivalent of a is how much that is one zero one zero so one zero 
one zero okay and the last one here is one which is here so triple zero one okay so triple zero and one while this one is this one okay so we can see that here we have converted them in the parts of fours and four parts which are basically one zero one zero this one is here as well okay so each bit here is this is one this is eight this is three so that is the hexadecimal equivalent of the number similarly we have here let me remove it again okay this is a uh, part e and it is here f a 16 okay so a is here we can see that a is 1010 1010 okay and f is here okay, this is four times one so one 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 okay so this is here okay so we can see that this one is here while this one is here so that is the binary equivalent of my number similarly part f of my question a b c in 16 again at three digits we have here in the hexadecimal number now writing the equivalent of c here the equivalent of c is here double one double zero let me use this green color so double one double zero for this c okay for b it is uh, one zero double one here we can see that one zero double one so for b one zero double one okay and for a we can see that for a it is one zero one zero okay so taking it and writing it here so one zero one zero okay so we can see that this is a number this is another four bit number and the last one is here this one okay. so that is basically the binary equivalent of my number okay so they we can very easily see that here the 12 bits are very easily shown by using the three hex codes Okay. so that is the efficiency of my hexadecimal number so the last one here is what is the last one in the last one we have four digits which are a b c d okay so we have here a b c d 16 okay so therefore now using the same procedure in which the d first of all we have to write the codes of d then c then b and at the end we have to write a okay so uh, let me write them here so initially the code for d is how much that is here double one zero one so double one zero one here okay so that is for d for c we have here double one double zero so here we have double one double zero okay so this is for this one these four bits are for this while these four bits are for d okay uh for b we have here we can see that this is for b so one zero double one so one zero double one this is for this b and for a we have this one zero one zero okay so this is for this number so we can see that here we have these 16 bits which are very easily represented by this by these four codes which are in hexadecimal numbers okay so that is for today in which we have discussed the hexadecimal numbers and how does a certain hexadecimal number can be converted to its binary equivalent from the next video we will try to solve some more questions which will be related to the hexadecimal numbers so till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon